Hello, my dear aspirants. Welcome to Gurudev IAS, KS, and Bank Academy. This is your Ravi sir. Today we are going to solve the most expected questions of MTS 2023, part number four. Okay, let us do the first question. An article is sold for four thousand eight hundred rupees. He said that he is the, said that the sold sold is nothing but what selling price. At what price he is selling rupees four thousand eight hundred rupees. Okay. At a profit of twenty percent. At a profit of twenty percent. Okay. Now, if I consider this one as a cost price, okay, this is twenty percent more. That means this is one twenty percent. Okay. Cost price always will be how much? Hundred percent. Okay. What is it telling? If the selling price is increased by six hundred rupees. Okay. If the selling price is increased by six hundred rupees, then what will be the profit percentage? Okay. Now at the present we have. Four thousand eight hundred rupees as the selling price. He is telling that six hundred increase. That means if the selling price is six hundred more than this, okay, that is nothing but uh, plus six hundred. That is nothing but what will be the selling price? New selling price five thousand four hundred rupees. Okay. Now we don't know what is cost price. Always, uh, what uh, always remember the profit percentage. Profit percentage is equal to okay. Profit uh, divided by Cost price, profit divided by cost price into hundred. Now I don't know what is profit and what is cost price. Okay, I know only what the selling price, new selling price. With the help of this data, I can easily calculate the cost price. Okay, that means two into four is nothing but a forty-eight. Okay, one zero over here. This is one twenty into forty is how much? Four thousand eight hundred. Similarly, hundred into forty is is how much? Four. Thousand. That means this is four thousand is my cost price. Okay, four thousand is my cost price. That means four thousand cost price. How much? Uh, how much is the selling price? Five thousand four hundred is nothing but I am getting thousand four hundred rupees as a profit. Okay, thousand four hundred as a profit. Now substitute this data profit and cost price in the formula. You will get what profit percentage. Okay, so. What is the profit now? Profit is how much? Fourteen thousand. Uh, sorry, fourteen hundred divided by. Okay. Cost price is how much? Four thousand into. Okay. Into hundred. Okay. Into hundred. This zero, this zero get cancels. This zero, this zero get cancels. Now four one ja four three ja twelve two remainder. That is what four five ja. Okay. That means thirty five percent will be my what profit percentage. Okay. That is option number four will be the right answer. Okay. He has given the selling price. Two selling price. One is the initial selling price. Another when you increase by six hundred rupees. That is new selling price. I know. I, I should know what the cost price. Then I I will ultimately uh, obviously I will get what the profit. Okay. Then you substitute this both values in the formula. You will get what profit percentage. Okay. Second question. What is the difference between the compound interest and simple interest on rupees two thousand at ten percent interest per annum for two years? Okay, if the uh, for compound interest interest compounded annually. Okay, what is asking? What is the difference between compound interest and simple interest? What is the difference between compound interest and simple interest? He is asking. Okay, now one thing you remember: this is the principal amount. Two thousand rupees is what the Principal amount. Okay, at what rate it is? R is equal to how much? Ten percent. Okay. Now, for how many years he is giving? Time period is two years. Okay. Always remember for simple interest. Okay. For simple interest. Okay. For simple interest, the rate of interest and time period will be multiplied. Okay. So that means ten into two is how much? Twenty percent for two years. For two years it is. Twenty percent. I want compound interest. For compound interest, always remember. Okay, this formula: a plus b plus a into b divided by hundred. Okay. What is the rate of interest here? Ten. Okay. Ten. You substitute here. Again, b also remains the same. Ten percent because for the second year. Okay. Now, ten into ten divided by hundred. Okay. This zero, this zero get cancelled. This is twenty. This is plus one. There is nothing but twenty-one percent. Okay. This is compound interest. Twenty-one percent is compound interest. Now I know the interest in percentage. Okay, 
now the difference between compound interest and simple interest is 1% okay this is 1% the question is also whatever what is asking he is asking the difference between compound interest and simple interest now difference i got 1% what is this 1% 1% 1 of 2000 rupees because principal amount is how much 2000 1% of 2000 is nothing but 1 divided by 100 percentage get cancelled okay in uh, in place of percentage i will divide it by 100 into 2000 okay now this zero this zero get cancelled i got how much 20 rupees as the difference okay option number one will be the right answer okay let us see the third question find the single discount equivalent to two successive discount of 10 percent and five percent in this case first you add this one both the things okay it will be how much 15 percent minus multiply the thing that is nothing but 50 divided by 100 okay this zero this zero get cancelled this will be how much 0.5 okay this is 15 percent minus 0.5 will be how much 14.5 first you need to add this okay then you multiply the both the things you will get what 14.5 percent as the answer for the single discount it is how much 14.5 percent okay fourth question a is 40 percent less than 60 percent of 1500 what is the value of a is asking in this question okay first always remember solve the last part of the question okay 60 percent of 1500 60 percent of 1500 60 percent of 1500 is nothing but 60 divided by 100 if i remove this percentage okay it will be divided by 100 1500 this zero this zero get cancelled now 60 into 15 is nothing but how much 900 okay 900 now he is telling a is 40 percent less than 60 percent of 1500 that means it is 40 percent less than 900 okay that means 40 percent less means again i will get what 60 percent of the value okay because in the 100 percent if i minus 40 percent okay i will get how much 60 percent so 60 percent of 900 is nothing but what divide it by 100 this zero this zero get cancelled 960 is how much 54 okay one zero is remainder remaining okay it will be what 540 as the answer option number three will be the right answer is it clear okay the last fifth question p is equal to 18 into 9 divided by 6 plus 5 into 15 divided by 25 and q is 15 divided by 5 into 5 minus 25 divided by 5 what is the value of p divided by q is asking now first you solve the p value then you solve the q value then you will you can easily divide it divide p and q at the last step okay now the p value p value is how much 18 into okay this is p value 18 into 9 uh, divided by 6 okay plus 5 into 15 divided by 25 okay now here you should apply the bottom rule first multiplication first division then multiplication then addition okay now this one is 6 1 ja 6 3 ja this one is 5 1 ja 5 5 ja this one is 5 1 ja 5 3 ja 3 9 ja is 27 okay plus I, uh, here i got 3 that means p value i got how much 27 plus 3 is 30 p value is 30 let us look uh, uh, let us solve the q value what is q value here q is equal to 15 divided by 5 into 5 minus 25 divided by 5 this 5 this 5 get cancelled this one is 5 1 ja 5 5 ja okay next up 15 minus 5 i will get what 15 minus 5 is nothing but 10 this is q value what he is asking in the question in the question he is asking what p divided by q okay what is p value here 30 okay divided by q means q value is how much 10 that is nothing but this 0 this 0 get cancelled i got the answer as 3 okay that means option number 3 will be the right answer clear for more updates okay job notifications current affairs live online classes subscribe gurudev ias ks and banking academy channel also join the, the telegram channel follow us on instagram channel follow us on facebook page okay keep learning thank you